Hi, my name is Damal Kumari. I'm a staff scientist at NIVDK. And my name is Kristen Moulton. I'm a postdoc research fellow at the National Institute of Mental Health. We are going to introduce our recent study published in Human Mutation. This study was a collaboration among our labs at the NIH, the Center for Neural Science, New York State Institute for Basic Research in Developmental Disabilities, and the National Human Neural Stem Cell Resource. Fragile X syndrome is the most common cause of inherited intellectual disability and autism. Expansion of a CGG repeat sequence in the 5' untranslated region of the FMR1 gene to more than 200 repeats causes transcriptional gene silencing and loss of its protein product FMRP. Absence of FMRP leads to the symptoms of Fragile X syndrome. The FMR1 knockout mouse model for Fragile X syndrome has been useful in dissecting the molecular mechanisms responsible for disease pathology. This research has led to the development of targeted therapeutic approaches that reverse disease phenotype in FMR1 knockout mice. Our goal was to study if the molecular phenotypes seen in FMR1 knockout mice also occur in primary human fibroblasts derived from fragile X syndrome patients. For this, we studied two specific features of the disease seen in knockout mice, rates of protein synthesis, and the levels of signaling proteins that regulate it. Previous studies have shown that in the absence of FMRP, rates of cerebroprotein synthesis are elevated in some brain regions of FMR1 knockout mice. These images illustrate the elevated rate of protein synthesis in the dorsal hippocampus of a FMR1 knockout mouse compared to that of a wild type. In the present study, we measured the rate of leucine incorporation into protein as an indicator of the basal rates of protein synthesis in human fibroblasts. We show that the average incorporation rate is significantly higher in fragile X syndrome fibroblasts compared to that of healthy controls. Next, we evaluated the phosphorylation states of key translational control molecules that have been shown to be dysregulated in studies of FMR1 knockout mice and other patient-derived samples. We found increased levels of phosphorylated mTOR, phosphorylated ERK12, and phosphorylated P70S6 kinase 1 in fragile X syndrome fibroblasts. We further explored the effect of small molecule inhibitors on leucine incorporation rates in human fibroblasts. We tested two selective inhibitors. First, PF4708671, a drug that inhibits S6 kinase 1, which is a downstream target of mTOR C1 and ERK, as well as TGX221, which inhibits P110 beta subunit of PI3K, which is a known FMRP target. Treatment with both inhibitors decreased rates of protein synthesis in human fibroblasts. Our data suggests that human fibroblasts can be used to screen and test potential therapeutic compounds before they are used in clinical trials. We encourage you to read the full manuscript for more information and email us with any questions. Happy reading.